And what are the blessings? You know, when, is, when Jacob went back, he was blessed. When he went back to Bethel, when he removed those things, he was blessed and more than when he was in Shechem. Praise the Lord. So what are the blessings? What are the blessings of the fear of God? In Psalm 103, verse 11 and 13, it says, For as the heavens is high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards them that fear him. Like a father pities his child, so the Lord pities them that fear him. You know, when you fear God, the blessing, one of the blessings is that it will attract the mercy of God. It will attract the mercy of God upon you, upon your family, upon your household, in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't you want this kind of blessing? Another number two is that when we fear God, God answers and remembers the prayer of those that fear him. He answers and remembers your prayers. In Psalm 145, verse 19, he says, He will fulfill the desires of those that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. Praise the Lord. God will answer your prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. In Psalm 100 and in Psalm 33, I mean 16, we can write it down. Malachi, Malachi 3, 16, we can write it down, but I will read Psalm 33, verse 18. Behold, the fear of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. You see? People that fear God genuinely, not fake fear, but you, from the bottom of your heart, you fear him. God said he will answer them. He will answer you in the name of Jesus. He will answer your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Number three, what are the blessings of those that fear God? The fear of God produces strong confidence. You are so convinced. You are so confident in him. That is the confidence that Meshach, Abek, they had, those three boys, that they said, no, we will not bow down to your God. We will not bow down. We will serve the living God. And God saved them. Proverbs 14, 26. In the fear of God is strong confidence. And his children shall have a place of refuge. You will have a place of refuge in Jesus' name. Amen. So when you fear God, you have strong, strong confidence in him. You have confidence that your tomorrow will be okay. You have confidence that that thing that you are believing God is coming to pass. Because you know who you believe. You know who you believe. Praise the Lord. You know that that thing that you, are, that you are going through right now, you are coming out victoriously because you fear him. Because you know him. Praise the Lord. So when you fear God, you will have strong confidence that it is well with me. Number four. The fear of God. When we fear one of the blessings of the fear of God, that secret things of God is with them that fear him. God will begin to show you things. Have God been showing you things in the past? That is why he wants you to come back. Come back to the place where you and him were before. Come back to Bethel. He begins to show you things. According to Psalm 25 verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. And he will show them his com covenant. God will show you things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The blessings of the, of the fear of God. Another point is. The fear of God prolongs our days. When we fear God, our lives will be prolonged. Proverbs 10.24. Proverbs 10.27, I mean. Proverbs 10.27. The fear of the Lord prolongs days, but years of the wicked shall be shortened. In everything that you will do, you see that things will be working for you. Why? Because you fear God. Because you are obeying him. 
because you know that your tomorrow will be okay. You see, when you fear him, you see that things will be working. Though people might be saying, is he the only one? Is he the only one? But they don't know that you have a special relationship with God. That this one doesn't joke with God. This one, he reference me. This one honors me. This one respects me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have we not been wondering? So, when we fear God, God will make our years to prolong. He will prolong our years. He will prolong our days on earth. He will take away sickness from us in the mighty name of Jesus. It will be well with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because we know who we believe. We fear this mighty God. Another thing that, another blessing that comes from when we fear God is in Psalm 100 and Psalm 34, I mean. Psalm 34 verse 7. The angels of the Lord encamp round about those that fear him, and he delivers them. There is an angelic being protecting those that fear God. We hear many testimonies. This one travel, got a very terrible accident, and God deliver. It's the angels of God that is protecting. When we fear God, he will send angels to protect those that fear him. And God will send angels our ways in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. So if we are going back to Bethel, we need the fear of God. Have you been reading your Bible as you used to read it? It's time for you to go back and say, Father, I'm repenting today. I want to be like I used to be with you in the past when we talk together. But now we are too busy. Maybe it's the work. Maybe it's the child. We know how we used to do it before. But God is telling us, come back to me. Come back to me. I want to hear your voice. I want to bless you, but we are far away from him. Has God not been knocking on our hearts? Has God been speaking to us? The blessing that is blessing us is just that he wants us to be more closer to him. Not far away. Praise the Lord. And you know God has made it easy. We have a lot of technology here that can help us. Isn't it? Are we going to wake up in the morning and say, Father, I don't have time. But that way, the way you are going to work, you can be praying. You can be in the tram or the bus reading your Bible. Ah, but they will say, ah, they are looking at me. Who is looking? Nobody is looking at you. The fear of people looking at you reading your Bible. That's another fear. Praise the Lord. They are looking at me. Let them be looking. When they are doing their own, no, they don't care if anybody is looking at them. Praise the Lord. They will do it with all their minds. God has made it easy for us. So let's come back to him. Wherever we have missed it. Wherever we have missed it. He said come back to me. Come back to Bethel. Come back to Bethel. And the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to stand up now. Let's stand up. And close our eyes. Let all eyes be closed. We are living in a world where everything, all manners of things are happening. Christians are being called not as they used to be before. All manners of things are happening. We are not standing out as we used to stand out before for him because of fear. If you are here today, and you don't have a relationship with him. Maybe you don't even know God at all before we're talking about other things. It's time for you to talk to him. I will not tell you to come out. This is between you and your God. Speak to him. Say, Father, forgive me. Say, Father, have mercy upon me. Maybe I don't know God at all. I want to walk in your fear. Speak to him. Say, Father, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Maybe you want to give your life to Christ. You don't know him at all. We are talking about fear. Even the fear you don't know. The ungodly fear you don't know. Talk to him. Talk to him. He is here today. He is in our midst. 
talk to him. Say, Father, I want, I want to know you. I want to know you as my Lord and my Savior. Father, I want to know you because I want to fear you. Talk to him. Talk to him. Say, Father, I'm coming back. Help me. Say, Father, help me. Help me, Lord. Jacob messed up and you had mercy upon him. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. If you have made that decision to accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, just raise up your hand. Nobody is looking. It's between you and God. Please let eyes, all eyes be closed so that it can be easy for people to give their lives to Christ. Say, Father, forgive me. I'm coming back. Praise the Lord. We are going to also talk to God. We are saying, Father, forgive me in any way that I feared you. That I have been acting on ungodly fear. Forgive me. Talk to him. Talk to him. Say, tell him to forgive you. Father, forgive us. In ways that we've been acting on our own like Jacob. We are doing our own things because of circumstances. Father, forgive us. Cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Tell him to cleanse you. Father, forgive us in the name of Jesus. In any way that we've been acting in ungodly fear. Even in our place of work, at home, in anything, Lord. Father, forgive us today. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. We are going to tell God now. We are saying, Father, we are coming back to better. Say, I'm coming back to better. Help me in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, help me. Give me the grace to fear you in the name of Jesus. Speak to him. Talk to him. Tell him to give you the grace to fear him, to reference him, to not disrespect him anymore. To respect him, to honor him, to obey his word. When he says, goes to the left, you will go. Because you have confidence in him. Father, forgive me. Father, I ask for the grace. The grace, O oh Lord, to fear you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, give us that grace. Father, give us the grace to serve you. Father, to serve you. To come in time to church. Father, to not be the way we used to be. Father, we are coming back. The grace to fear you in our homes. To submit when we are supposed to submit. To love as we are supposed to love. Father, we ask for that grace. We ask for that grace, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even handling our children, Lord. We ask for that grace. Help us, O oh Lord. Help us, O oh Lord, to fear you. We've gone so far, Lord. Help us to fear you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. Lord, your children have prayed unto you. You know their heart desires. You know where they want to come back to you. Father, help them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your word says that our help comes from you who made heaven and the earth. Father, when Jacob turned a new leaf. Father, you blessed him the more. Father, your children have cried unto you. They want to fear you. Father, give them the grace to obey you in Jesus' name. Give them that grace to fear you in everything in the name of Jesus. Lord, you know that we are walking in the world that is, that is terrible. Father, we need your grace. We need your fear. Father, your children have called upon you. Father, give us that grace to fear you in Jesus' name. Father, we say thank you. Father, we bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let us thank him. Let us thank him. Father, I thank you because you've given me the grace to fear you. Father, as I'm going, I will fear you. I will read my Bible. I will pray as I ought to pray because I know I have the Holy Spirit. Father, I'm saying thank you. The grace to submit, the grace to love. Father, thank you. Father, we are saying thank you. Thank you for the blessings of fearing you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed.
Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus Connections is a church gaining possessions, taking territories, and breaking impossible grounds. This is a place where your expectations become manifestations and you discover a better way to live. Get connected to Jesus through Jesus Connections today. God bless you richly. Amen. Thank you.